hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. I'm back, baby! <laughs> I've been away on holidays. Oh, I've missed you all. I hope you've missed me. I've enjoyed my holidays, my family time, my time in the sunshine up in Noosa in Queensland. However, I'm back in Sydney, and the first thing I did was just screw around on PUBG. Today, I played a lot of really bad PUBG. Uh, I had eight days off, nine days off, and it was like I lost both my hands and didn't know what I was doing, which isn't far from the uh, normal standard kind of thing. So to get myself back in the groove, I decided to have a bit of a Pistolero day. I decided to have a few runs. Pistol only. Just the short stuff, baby. Not the long stick, just the short stick. And... When you're doing that, you've got to get ready by picking the right gear. You've got to get the right gear. You've got to go through your outfits, and you've really got to make a conscious effort to get in character and enjoy the moment. You don't want the black T-shirt with the big Jesus on it. You don't want the, the short sleeve showing off your arms. You're kind of thinking about the Mission Impossible. Now, remember, guys, we've got the 20,000 subs special coming up soon. We're going to be giving away a bunch of skins and kind of things. Uh, when I hit 20k subs over three or four days, I think, maybe five days. I'll see how we go. So if you're interested in being involved in that, you've got to sub up to the channel, like the videos, and I'll give you more info on that as we get closer to the 20k, which should be sometime this week, I guess. We've been getting a lot of subs. Uh, so yeah, spread the word. Get it on like Donkey Kong. Now, the first thing that happened was I jumped on the airplane and someone recognized me, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I beg for mercy. Hi, Dabuska. Yeah, hello. I knew you are a YouTuber. Yep, yeah, please don't kill me. Uh, I'm doing a pistol-only challenge, amigo. So if you could just go gentle, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> so I hope you guys uh, keep saying g'day. Say hello to me on the plane if you see me. It's really good fun. Good fun. Now, I'm going to show you some highlights from a few of the games. I was atrocious. Uh, it was good, though. I got By the end of the day, I had my mojo kind of halfway back. I'm doing a live stream tomorrow, and that should be pretty interesting to see how I go there. Um, the thing that was really weird was my hands were hurting so much by the end of this. Anyway, I digress. The weirdest thing um, with using these pistols is kind of picking your poison. Uh, the 1911 was my go-to pistol by the end of this. And I've done this before where I've come up with the same conclusion. It's got a little bit of stopping power compared to, say, the P92. The P92 throws out so much stomp. Uh, it's like, ta 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 uh, So many shots, but... Uh, so little stopping power. The revolver is atrocious, and I will show you the revolver. It's very, very cool. Watch this for some excellent marksmanship. I'm just going to poke around the corner there. Just uh, being stealthy, using my Mission Impossible outfit. Mission Impossible is probably a very apt title for this. Look at the kick on that thing. I, can't, I just hit that guy there. It's not a bot. He just doesn't know where I am because I'm getting suppressed pistol fire. He's like, where the hell is that coming from? And uh, <laughs> just 24 shots later, <laughs> we got there. Uh, and then I was just kind of chilling out in this village for a while. The thing I had the biggest problem with was I'm an aggressive player. And even when I'm not playing well, I still go aggressive because it's fun. Hey, I'm here to have a little bit of fun. And I had a real problem uh, marrying up the fun with the not getting flogged. Um, and what I ended up doing a lot of was getting blown up because I would push every single time I saw something. You can see there's a guy coming in a ghillie suit. This is awesome. This is when I, oh, go, 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 go. I got a couple of headshots in there. He must have a level three helmet on. He's pulled his pin out. We're pushing. Oh, he's got a big gun. He's got a big gun. Big gun. He had an M M429. Oh, ow. M249. Oh my God. KO, get knocked out. Sit down. He's Gren blew me up from the grave. From the grave, I tell you. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. So I changed it up. I got rid of the Mission Impossible outfit and changed up into a big old trench coat. Didn't that just work a treat? We jumped into prison. Because this is where you go if you're a hitman. You'd probably come out of prison, actually. Uh, and we started pushing up people with VSSs, which is great. Great, great fun. Great, great fun. Uh, the biggest problem I had was kind of defining the rules for this because it wasn't really, strictly speaking, your standard kind of challenge. I didn't mind throwing the odd grand or molly. Uh, and I decided I'd stick with mollies for the most part. I'd only use a grand if someone was being a real grub and was camping and wouldn't come out. You know, we like had M416s and that kind of gear. And I still pushed most of those people. Now, I did have a 
rather interesting revelation when I got to this. It was like, you know what, guys? It's really hard to do this in first-person mode without just getting wrecked. Uh, because I like, I like to be aggressive. Like, this guy would not push me, right? He's over the other side of this compound. He wouldn't push me. I couldn't get him to move. Like, he's just hanging out there with his wang out on the other side of the compound. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to just chuck smokes and I'm going to bamboozle you with science. I'm just going to throw gear everywhere. Look at this thing. It's terrible. I mean, it's atrocious. Don't do this at home. This is a this is a bad idea, poorly executed. But he was over the other side of the compound. So I'm like, how am I going to get there? Uh, I'm going to have to push him. I mean, FPP, I can't do the snake in the grass thing. I'm just going to push this guy. That's all there is to it. I'm going to throw smoke grins everywhere. And then he's going to be fooled by my massive amount of smoke. And I'm going to charge up. And uh, it's just gonna, it's just gonna completely take him by surprise. Yeah, let's let's watch that in in action, uh, big brain. Here we go, uh, pushing on the guy with the M four one six in first person. Yep, smoke doesn't mean you're bulletproof, buddy. <laughs> it was like, okay, take three. Let's let's do this again. Let's try this again. Let's go prison again. Uh, I didn't change anything this time, just kept my, uh, you're wondering why, by the way, oh god, yeah, no, I, um, I picked up the revolver, which was fun for everyone, really. You're probably wondering why I've got all those guns on, it's because I've got auto pickup turned on, so, look at the revolver, it's just, it is haywire, this thing, now, I'm not, I didn't take the P18C, by the way, too, because it's, that's just cheating. I'm not the best shot, man, but the revol the variance on these pistols is horrific. <laughs> look at, it's not me and this bloke. We couldn't hurt anything. We couldn't throw it in the ocean from 10 feet away. I've got those because I've got auto pickup turned on. So I just take guns so that they can't actually uh, keep picking things up. Because if you don't have a gun on your back, it just keeps picking up UMPs and, and that kind of stuff. This bloke drove me up, up the wall because he just wouldn't come down out of his, his tower. <laughs> Listen to that. Listen to that. That's the sound of a suppressed revolver. It's just like tip, tick, tick. Tick, tick, <laughs> tick, tick. <laughs> and it does about as much damage as the tick too, it seems. It's all right when they're naked, but when you've got level two vests and things on, like it does absolutely freaking nothing. Hey, uh, so what I did was I sat there for a while. He just wouldn't come down. It's, it's like, dude, you got to come down. We've got to have this party. I can't have the party on my own. You got to come down. You got to come down and party. He wouldn't, so I went, you know what, I'm going to break the rules here. I'm just going to allow myself a Gren. I'm just going to chuck a Gren up there. Uh, I'm sick of you and your tomfoolery. You're all the way at the top there. Cook it to perfection. Put it in the oven. Pull it out. Crispy golden brown. Thanks very much. Uh, enjoy your time back in the uh, loading screen. I pulled in here because there was a guy here. This is the aggressive nature of Bushka with a revolver and a silencer on it. And I am playing third person now because I finally tweaked to the fact that I was never going to get this done in first person. Uh, it's just, I mean, <laughs> people seem to shoot straighter. This guy's like, he's in there. So you can't even hear me firing, right? I'm firing. I'm firing that thing. It's going to tick, 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 tick. And then some clown just ran up and took the freaking UAZ. Look at it. I mean, are you kidding me? That's tagged him. Once. Twice. Now we're just getting to obscene amounts of revolver rage. I mean, why Earp couldn't shoot that clown? That's, uh, that's never happened. <laughs> we're running along reloading. I mean, I've got to pull the gun down after every shot. Just so <laughs> oh, I can see where the target is. The silencer is so big, and I saw this guy, and I was like, oh, he isn't a bot. He's actually AFK, so rather than run him over, I'm going to get out and shoot him. Two shots in the head to a level one helmet. I was actually pretty impressed with that. I I thought that was pretty cool. And while I was sitting there being impressed with myself, some dude turned up on a motorbike, and uh, he just drove straight up to me, man. Like, I don't think he would have seen me if I had have been, for me... Yeah, poor play. Poor play. Pretty poor play. Pretty poor play. I mean, let's be honest. If I had had any kind of gun, every person that I'm fighting here is dead. Um, 
So then I dropped school. I couldn't find much apart from three bots. I'm not going to include those because no one wants to send me shooting bots. And I got pushed. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? For once, I'm just going to let this dude run past. There's a guy on top of me, right? There's a guy on top of me and he pushed in. And I had to hide because <laughs> I was like, I just, just want to get the chicken dinner. I'm just going to... You can see he's throwing a grin up there. He's still trying to... He doesn't know where I am. He's grinning. Uh, <laughs> the guys run past. They're like, you know what? You guys... You guys can have a bit of a cuddle and a kiss. I'm so far behind the zone line. I've had nothing but disgrace and uh, disappointment so far. So I'm going to go all the way over there, get a car, and drive back into the circle. And I don't care about killing anyone. This is just chicken dinner time. I've I've had jack of this. <laughs> this is just, this is embarrassing. I got to get me a chicken dinner. Uh, it's the only way I can hold my head up in the world. Got to get me a chicken dinner. I want to basically get down to that final two where there's just me and some bloke and we're going to go mano a mano or at least as mano a mano as you can when you're lying down in the grass. I think I even flicked my backpack in this game. Now, there's 11 people left alive. There is someone just in front of me here. This is, I've cut, I've cut through. Yeah, they've mollied my car. I'm like, you grubs, you grubs. You pushed up on me. I can't see where anyone is. I've got the 1911 out. I figured that's my best bet. I couldn't find a silencer for love nor money. Um, look, here they come. They're all firing at me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. God, you just let me be. And uh, I just jam it into that one and then come over here. Lower those tires, baby. I love the fact that I'm lowering the tires, but at the same time, like, it takes me half a clip to clear a tire, so I've got to reload all the time. It's just so ridiculous. Two tires a clip. Can't get the third tire. Every clip is two tires and no more. It's that guy who will not leave me be, hey. He's smashing it in here. I'm like, okay, you know what? Screw you. I've got six smoke grenades. So I'm going to... Oh, ow! I think he hit me on the hand. What a deadly marksman. Down to six, though. So I'm kind of achieving my goal here. I'm, 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 I haven't got a lot of kills, right? And I'll admit, this has not been the most exciting game. The gameplay has not been the best it's been on channel. Uh, but I'm a man with a purpose. I'm a man with a mission. I want to get a Pistolero chicken dinner. And by golly, by dang, uh, I'm going to get it. <laughs> now, uh, for those of you two who are patrons... I was having a game today, and I was playing with Leezy, Funky Monkey, and Rastus. Uh, three of the patron amigos. Young Zachary was there, too. He was uh, having a chat. Stinky Fruit Roll-Ups dropped by. So did the real Jeremy. We're all having a good old ding-dong. And Leezy's like, man, you've got to put these videos together so that I can watch them. Because they're unfiltered, right? I'm, I'm being quite rude. I'm making a lot of jokes, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to start doing is popping a bit more of that raw gameplay into the patron channel i do every once in a while at the moment pop that raw gameplay in with the with the discord sound as well and i'm going to start doing that uh as well just for some of the funnier games some of the funnier runs i have because we did have a good time uh but back to the pistol hero challenge that's for those of you who are patrons there's a private discord channel for patron i'm thinking about opening a discord server that is public i don't know if you guys would get into that um i don't really have time to run it though so the, the tyranny of, of time is, is a real issue for me. Uh, very busy human. Very busy human now that I'm doing what I love. So only five people left. And I'm like, okay, man. Okay. I know I despise the, the snake. I'm not a big fan of the snake. And I'm using all this smoke just to stay alive. Because there's people out there who mean me harm. Who've been sniping at me. And this is legitimately me just trying to win... And knowing that I can't engage, that's about it. So I'm going to fast forward this as I, I mean, look. Mm, I probably won't be able to sleep tonight. Um, I I feel a sense of shame, a sense of loss, really. Innocence, innocence lost. <laughs> innocence lost. I mean, it gets even worse. Like, you know what? I probably don't need those weapons, so I've got rid of them. Flick them. Uh, and I'm going to take the backpack off in a sec too, because backpack might, they might just peek above the grass, might give them something extra to shoot at. So I jettison the backpack. And uh, you can see there's a bloke there. He's chucked a couple of smokes out. And he's got like an AKM. I, uh, I don't feel really bad about being in the grass in Final Circle in a third person when I've got a Colt 1911. In fact, I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Dude, 
You'd hate to uh, you'd hate to have someone chicken dinner you with a Colt nineteen eleven. So let's see how I go. I've got this far. Finally, I think this has taken five games. I played the revolver. I played the Colt. I played the P ninety two. Uh, I wish I could get the R45. I love the R45 of Miramar. There we go. Tactical pop off just to see if he uh, he moves or motors. But no, no, no action. Maybe you'll chuck a few grins my way. That'll let me know where he is. I throw some grins just to see if I can get him interested. I'm not trying to kill him. I know he's not over there. I'm just trying to get an idea on where this guy is actually sitting or lying. And you're going to see a few grins come flying out of the ether here. Oh, hang on. There we go. It's got to be Chuck. There's another one lobbing in. Ah, he's Northwest 310. Northwest 310. So I just move away from the big rock just in case he actually manages to... No, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm much better off just being slightly behind the big rock. There's a flashbang. Like, okay, dude, there's a pathway just ahead of me. That's That's the problem. Bit of open land, so I don't think he's going to go across there. So I smoke over there. See if he starts shooting at the smoke or something. All the craft, all the technique, all all the processes I can I can throw into this one, just to try and get a chicken dinner. Because I have to basically get shots on him without him getting shots on me, which is great if you're in first person and you you can use the rock and everything. But man. If I stand up for this final circle, he'll know exactly where I am. And I will have... Oh, there he goes. Okay, I can see he's in that direction. So, confirmed. I can confirm that he is indeed over there. Uh, exactly where I thought he was. Uh, and I'm hoping to distract him. So, while he does that, I'm moving up here. Just looking for a glimpse. I'm like an autograph hunter at the uh, annual uh, adult movie awards. Just hoping to catch a glimpse. Uh, eyeballs. Eyeballs front and center. Come on, buddy. Come on out. You can do this. One of us has to be brave and it can't be me. Because <laughs> i got nothing. Yeah, I've even got rid of the backpack. <laughs> See ya. See ya, backpack. Nice knowing you. I don't need your, uh, <laughs> your rust-colored tones to make me feel better about life. I'm all about the pistol now. Gonna take a painkiller. Just in case he doesn't pop up and we're gonna do this thing in the blue. Just in case we're gonna dance the dance in the azure. Now blue de pinto de blue, baby. Come on! Where are you, you big grub? Get on up. Get on up. Jesus is riveting television. Don't turn away now, guys. Any any moment now, something could happen. It's in third person at its absolute finest. Two blokes in a in a sea of grass, both completely invisible. I'm gonna hold my nerve better than him though. He keeps firing off that big dog. I go 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 go, and I refuse. I'm relentless in my pursuit of excellence. I thought I saw something. Fly. There he is. Let's get an eyeball on it. Get a really good. I need to make these count. Tap 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 tap. Another clip. Another clip. Tap, 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 tap. Another clip. Neil up, Bushki. You can do this. Come on, I can see him. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, my God. How many shots is that? <laughs> we got it. And not only that, we get to do the dance. Yeah. Woohoo! Hook that, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed that stupidity. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Uh, stick around. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing a live stream. Uh, if you haven't already seen it on channel, you need to jump in and uh, and join in. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of giggle. And uh, we're just going to celebrate. We've got 20,000 subs coming up soon, guys. 20,000 subs coming up. And uh, when we get that 20K subs, I'm going to give some things away. So make sure you sub. Make sure you do the business. And until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.